Hey, I'm Desmond Lane, peach specialist at Clemson University. Welcome to the Clemson Tiger Peach Network. Welcome back to Everything About Peaches. In our fourth episode, we're going to be talking about the Clemson Peach Germplasm Evaluation Program. Today, we're at the Musser Fruit Research Farm in Seneca, South Carolina, where we have over 350 different types of peaches and nectarines from around the world, and we're evaluating them to determine which ones will perform the best for the southeastern fruit grower. Today is July the 7th, 2010, and here at Musser Fruit Research Farm, we've collected the varieties that we're going to evaluate today. You can see the great difference among these different cultivars, from nectarines, to white flesh peaches, to normal yellow flesh peaches. In just a couple of minutes, we'll be going into the laboratory to perform our evaluations. I've chosen six representative fruit for the sample that we're going to use for digital photography. We take two of the six fruit for the photograph and cut them in half. One is cut longitudinally, and for the other one, we make a cross section. On the left, we have the longitudinal section. On the right, we have the cross section. I arrange the fruit on a one inch grid for taking the digital photograph. The first thing I do is place the pre-printed label at the bottom center of the grid. Then I place the longitudinal section, then the cross section, then the non-suture side of the peach with the tip facing up, then the suture side of the peach with the tip also facing up then the stem end of the fruit with the suture facing down, then the tip end of the fruit with the suture also facing down. In the laboratory, we use supplemental lighting for our digital photographs. Now you can see the fruit in the standard layout for a digital photograph. These are the visual ratings for Klondike White. For shape, I'll give it a 7.5. It's not a perfect shape because it has a bit of a suture bulge. For pubescence, uh, you can put down 4.8 because it's quite fuzzy. For red, uh, 7.8 because the skin color is quite dark red, almost a purple in most of the spots. And then overall attributes, I'd say 7.5. For each variety, we have a 10 fruit sample. Then we measured the diameter. For each fruit, we measured the diameter at the suture, 2.94, and the diameter perpendicular to the suture, 2.98. And then we take an average. To measure firmness, we take the fruit and locate the suture. On sides adjacent to the suture, we take off a small amount of skin. Using a penetrometer, we measure the firmness in pounds. This side is 5 pounds, and after resetting the penetrometer, we measured the other side, which is 2 pounds. We also measure the bricks or sugar concentration of each of our 10 fruit sample by taking a small slice of the fruit and extracting a drop of juice on the glass surface of a refractometer. By looking through the refractometer, we can see a numeric scale that indicates the concentration of the extracted juice. This one was a 16. And we're at the farm of Mr. James Cooley up in Chesney, where we have an on-farm grower trial, and we're looking at about 87 different types of peaches and nectarines to see how they perform in the upstate of South Carolina. This is our variety trial block where we've got these uh, 87 different types of peaches and nectarines. And Stephen here has got our map. We're going to walk through the orchard and determine today what is ripe. And that's the fruit that we're going to evaluate today. The tree that we're at now is called Galaxy. 
It's a white fleshed donut peach from California. Here you can see it actually on the tree and I'm gonna pick it off. So here we have it right here, a white flat peach, good color, good size. Mmm, very tasty. We're gonna evaluate this one today. Sometimes on the tree the fruit are beautiful just like this one. But occasionally we have fruit that have cracking on the end. This is undesirable. Look, you can see right through it. This next tree that we're looking at is, an, is what we call an advanced selection. It's BY93P4318. It's from the breeding program of Dick Oakey down in Byron, Georgia. And uh, we're looking good. It's got that nice yellow background color. We've got some red blush coming on. And we got some good sugar and acid, so we're going to evaluate this one today also. Oh, about sometimes you have to go out on a limb to get a good peach. Yeah. Just got to go out a little bit, right, Steve? There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Sometimes the fruit are better closer to the top. Like these. 61. Okay, and what is that? Mm. This is the best part. In the winter time when we have our peach grower educational meetings, there are no leaves, there are no fruit on the tree. So when we do our evaluations out in the field, we actually take pictures of the fruit on the tree so the growers will get a good idea what they look like. This is a representative sample of fruit that we picked from our variety trial block. This is a normal acidity yellow flesh nectarine. This is a low acidity white flesh peach, a low acidity white flesh nectarine, low acidity white flesh donut peach. This is a normal acidity yellow flesh peach and another normal acidity yellow flesh peach. So now I'm going to prepare the fruit for our photograph. Yes, it looks like, it looks like I'm saying The reason I'm trimming them a little bit is so that they'll sit properly on the grid and they won't roll over. Okay, here we have fruit laid out for a photograph. As you can see, we've got our label with the name, the date, and the location. And then the fruit are oriented a particular way so we can see all different aspects of the fruit. This is the stem end of the fruit facing up. This is the tip end of the fruit facing up. This is the non-suture side, and this is the suture side. You can see that line there. Then we have a cross section of the fruit and a longitudinal section of the fruit. And then on the side, we have a two and a half inch standard. So you can see how this would compare with a two and a half inch diameter peach. Once I've got the fruit laid out the way that I want them laid out, then I'll take my photograph. And I'll zoom in, take the picture. And this is all under natural lighting outside, which is different from the way we do it at the laboratory at the Musser Fruit Farm. Once we've picked our samples of fruit, we use a digital caliper to measure the average size of 10 fruit per sample. Next, we measure the firmness of the peach using a penetrometer. We take one measurement from each side of the peach. The last thing that we measure out in the field is the bricks, or the sugar content of the juice. Each week we rate the fruit for various aspects, such as the overall shape, the pubescence, or the, the hairiness, or the fuzziness of the fruit, the red skin color, and also the overall attractiveness of each of the fruit. For more information on peaches and to view the results of our peach germplasm evaluation program, you can go to my Clemson Peach website at www.clemson.edu slash hort slash peach. And to read my regular peach columns for the American Fruit Grower magazine, visit their website at www.growingproduce.com.